Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Müter and I am very honored and overjoyed to be back in November in Kyoto with the Kyoto Symphony Orchestra and the fantastic Maestro Numajiri. I was asked to say a few words about the two arias I will be singing, for instance, Liebes Tod from Isolde and uh, Starke Scheite from Brunhilde. These two arias are set at the very end of the uh, specific operas like Tristan and Isolde and Götterdämmerung, and actually with Brunhilde at the end of the entire ring cycle, at the end of 15 hours of music. So um, both roles, um, you have to show a certain kind of responsibility to close these operas and uh, Isolde, for example, is uh, called as like the the Olymp of um, opera roles you can sing. Like uh, it's it's one of the longest it's the longest uh, female opera role you can sing. And then, for example, Brunhilde, uh, after three days, uh, it's like an an immense. <laughs> amount of hours of singing. So you have to be able to build up strength, um, stamina to, uh, to sing throughout these roles. Um, you need as well, I think, a certain kind of trust and uh, trust in the orchestra, trust in the conductor, because the way Wagner wrote his music um, the music knows already the feelings of the characters. It's already there. Everything is set. And as a singer, if you can pick this up, if you trust enough, you don't have to do much more. And you can just suck it in and let it out again. And if this symbiosis happens between the singer and the music, it's just a um, pure moment of, of beauty. And I think this is the challenging part of, uh, of uh, this uh, Wagner music, to be able to let this magic happen. Um, and then, for example, in, in uh, Brunhilde, um, she is... Uh, deceived woman, let's say, because she found, she knew only the God love, Wotan's love, the father love. Then she finds out there is a different kind of love, for example, between Sieglinde and Siegmund, so the human love. Then she experiences herself this love in uh, Siegfried, with Siegfried himself. She, there, there is the man she found and she loves. And then in Götterdämmerung, she finds out uh, what's it all about. And uh, being deceived, being betrayed, uh, the pain, the hate, the revenge. And um, in this starke Scheite, she actually, it's like a, like a flashback. She sums everything up, everything, the whole story that happened before. And, um, and she goes through all these emotions um, musically and uh, emotionally, and that's um, an apotheose actually, because then she makes sp she makes peace with everything and everyone, with Wotan, with Siegfried, with herself, and with the world. And she's actually the strongest in the whole story because she's able to give the Rhine maidens this powerful ring back. No one had this strength before, and um, and. When this moment happens, it's as well pure, pure beauty. And I'm so looking forward to be able to interpret this music and to sing this music for you. Thank you for listening. Bye.